Good morning, family in America and all over the world. Uh, welcome to our morning devotion. Today, my name is Diane Hack, and I will be your MC for the next 10 days. Thank you for welcoming me back. And to start our day today, let us offer a bow to our Heavenly Parent and True Parents. And now I want to invite Mr. Uh, Mehan Stephen to lead us with our family pledge. Adrang Meng Se, Il, Chonyo Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Ponyang Dangal Jaja, Ponyane Changjo Yi Sangin, Jisang Chongukwa, Chonsang Chongugul, Changon Halkosul Meng Se Hanaida. E. Chonyo Guk Juin, Uri Kajongan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Hanel Pumonimgua Cham Pumonimul Moshio, Chanjue de Pyojok Kajungi Temio, Jungshim Jok Kajungi Deo, Kajonga Sonon Hyoja, Kuke Sonon Jungshim, Sege Sonon Songin, Chanjue Sonon Songjae Kajonga Toridal, Wansong Harkosul Meng Se Hanaida. Sam Chanyo Guk Juin, Uri Kajongan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Sade Shimjong Gwangwa, Samde Wang Gwangwa, Hong Jok Gwanel Wansong Harkosul Meng Se Hanaida. Sa Chanyo Guk Juin, Uri Kajongan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Hanel Pumonime Changjoi Sangin Chanju de Kajogal Hyong Song Hayo, Jaiwa Pyonghwa, Tongyelgwa, Hengboge Segerel, one song Harkosel, Meng Se Hanaida. O Chayo Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Mail Ju Chejok Chansang Segewa, Te Sangjok Jisang Segei, Tongerel Yanghe, Chanjin Jok Paljonel Chokjin Hua Harkosel, Meng Se Hanaida. Yuk Chayo Guk Juin, Uri Kajangan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago, Hanel Pumonimgua, Cham Pumonime, Teshin Kajanguroso, Chanunel Umjiginen Kajangi Deo, Hanere Chukbogel, Jubiane, Yongyal Shikenen, Kajangel, Wansong Harkosel, Mengse Hanaida. Chil, Chanelguk Juin, Uri Kajangan, Cham Sarangel Jungshim Hago, Ponyone Hyotongwa, Yongyal Dun, We Hanen Seng Horel Tong Hayo. Shimjong Munhua Segerel Wansong Harkosel Meng Se Hanaida. Pal Chanyo Guk Juin Uri Kajongan Cham Sarangal Jungshim Hago. Chanyo Guk Shiderel Maji Hayo. Cholte Shinang, Cholte Sarang, Cholte Pok Jongro. Shinine Ilche Isangal Iruo. Jisang Chongukwa, Chansang Chonguge. Hebangwangwa, Sokbangwanel, Wansong Harkosel, Meng Se Hanaida. Thank you, Reverend Milhan. And for our offering, um, our opening prayer today, uh, I would like to invite Mr. Benjamin Hack to offer a prayer for this morning. Please unmute yourself. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, opportunity. Uh, good morning, Heavenly Parents. Good morning, our true parents. Good morning, our brothers and sisters from all over the world gathering here in this holy community. Everyone sharing their hearts and minds to really accomplish your will, God. Heavenly Father, I hope and pray that through our, our wonderful other brother, Dr. Young, everybody's hearts can be opened, that something can really move them so they can really do your will, including myself. And I pray all this in the in all blessed families here in my blessed family, uh, Benjamin Hack, the Hack Central Blessed Family, uh, Jew. Thank you, Benjamin Hack. Thank you, Diane Hack. Hack, Hack. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Uncle Benjamin. Actually, we're not even related. It's funny. <laughs> we have the same last name. Thank you for sharing. And now it's time to go into our breakout rooms and share our gratitudes for this morning.
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sharing in your breakout rooms. And for today, for our first refre uh, reflection, I would like to invite the Hamiguchi's couple, if you can share for this morning. Hamagishi, please share. Please unmute yourself. Oh. Hi, good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, yeah, uh, our appreciation, my appreciation is uh, the, this uh, morning devotion. Uh, yeah, so much practical guidance centering on heart. So uh, we really recognize what the uh, point key of uh, God and uh, God were. So my life changed uh, before so many complaints or conflict uh, within a family, within a brothers and sisters. But uh, uh, when I found my way to see people totally changed, uh, way to do, to speak, everything changed. Wow. So amazing, Beautiful. like miracle. It's not my, my <laughs> effort. Mm. Uh, naturally, uh, I became a, a kind of entire new dimension. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, and uh, I really appreciate. And I especially keep this one. Sorry, this is uh, in Japanese. Oh. But uh, uh, long time ago, uh, Dr. Young uh, uh, answered my reflection mm. and sent to email. Mm. I was amazed because this is uh, my top secret, my weak point, even I didn't recognize. But I didn't see uh, Dr. Young, but he just pointed out mm. very intuitive. He is uh, not a man, <laughs> God. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Let's go to Noriko-san. Good morning, uh, Dr. Yan. Thank you so much. We uh, both were attending uh, morning devotion every morning. Mm. So uh, we changed a, a lot of uh, 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 lifestyle uh, mm. Be uh, mm. because of uh, your guidance, uh, Dr. Mm. Yan's guidance. Thank you so much. Uh, we mm. are very, very appreciated. Thank mm. you so much. Just, just give me your face, just one second. Well, wear off the, your mask, just to see. I want oh, to see your face. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> sick. Just, uh, I have to go to dentist. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, okay, okay. never mind. Because I want to see your beautiful face. Oh, <laughs> yes, one day I show you. Thank you, thank you. Oh, yeah, thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for sharing. Uh, such a beautiful couple. And yeah, I'm sorry we can't see your face. Good luck at the dentist. <laughs> and for our next reflection, I wanted to invite on um, Justin Cherudic. If you can share. Justine Cherudic. Hi, good morning, Dr. Young. Good Good morning. Oh, Justin, Anna. Justin, thank you. Justin. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, this morning I say that I'm really grateful to be alive today. It's an incredible blessing to be here. Um, and I'm grateful to all this guidance we are receiving every day because it's really transformative. It's there is no we can stay the way we have been when receiving this guidance every morning. We mm -hmm. must change and we, it's a must. There is no way we can stay still. Mm -hmm. So, and also I said, I was grateful to so many brothers and sisters who have been working for so many years, visiting the churches consistently. Mm -hmm. And I personally never liked to visit the Christian churches. And mm -hmm. uh, I didn't do that, although I have started and still it's difficult. 
but uh, I'm just going telling God, I just go even though I don't like it. I don't, I don't see what I can do, but please, I will be there and do whatever you can do with me. Uh, so because of uh, those who have been consistent and persevering all these years, I mean, we are able to have all these ministers who have gone through the 40 day and the three day ceremony. Mm-hmm. So it's because of those who have been really working so hard and mm-hmm. I am so, so grateful and I can see what it means to really plant the seed and consistently um, watering it and uh, making an effort. And I know that they didn't like it as well, but they did it anyway. Mm. So I'm grateful to them. And, and I pray, my prayer is that uh, this nation welcomes our true mother uh, like never before this time. Mm. Really rolling the red carpet internally and externally for true mm. mother like mm. never, never before. So that's my prayer and that's my appreciation. And I'm so, so grateful to all the leaders working so, so hard. So, mm. so mm. I'm really grateful for that. Mm. So that's really my appreciation. And, uh, you, Dr. Young, so mm. everybody knows that you are our savior at this time. You are a, a really a godsend for each and every one of us and our families. So thank mm-hmm. you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Justin, yeah. our two parents, our savior. Thank you for your beautiful sharing. Yeah. Thank you, Aunt Justin, uh, Justin, for, for sharing that. And it's time to go into our morning devotion today. So please join me in welcoming uh, regional uh, leader, Dr. Chung Shik Yong. Good morning. Good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Ni hao ma. Bonjour, buenos dias, buongiorno, guten morgen, selamat pagi, dobrae utra, peace, salam, salam, aleikam, magandang umagapo, sainyon lahat, sawadikap, namaste, my dear brothers and sisters, clergy and ambassador for peace, annyeonghashimnika, yeah, I am, I am still in Las Vegas. Uh, yesterday I talked about who is Hakja Han Moon, Series 1. Today I'd like to talk about again who is Hakja Han Moon, uh, Series 2. I think uh, today's uh, topic. Today's content is very, very important. How our true father describe the position of the, our true mother. Very, very incredible about the true father's work. So, uh, I'd like to, so uh, anyway, uh, we must know clearly what kind of individual true mother is? We need to understand very clearly her identity. You know, true mother, not, we do not think just a true mother is a you know, wife of the father moon. We cannot have just that kind of normal concept. What's the God's point of view about true mother? What is the historical uh, point of view about true mother? We need to understand providentially, centering on God's point of, point of view and also principally. Then we can build clear relationship between our true mother and myself. Without understanding clearly her identity, you know, her situation, her position, then sometimes when we are you know, facing some kind of issue and problems, and then we misunderstand her, 
we treat her as a kind of one of the human being. This is a really big mistake. 2,000 years ago, Jesus came as the Lord, as the Savior, as the Messiah. However, how many of them truly recognize our Jesus position before Jesus' crucifixion? Even though they, you know, some of them confess, you know, Jesus was the Messiah. However, when they are facing some serious situation, persecution come, misunderstanding, many people insult Jesus and finally need, uh, Jesus need to go to the, you know, his final destination. Peter, he confessed Jesus is the Messiah. However, why he betrayed Jesus? Why? Because they do not understand principally, internally, do not have experience of substantial Holy Spirit. That's why, you know, when Jesus, Jesus showed the miracles, many people have the healing experience, externally following and following and following. But when Jesus have very serious, you know, you know critical situation that many people departed from Jesus. That's why when we're talking about true father and true mother, not just only principally understanding, also internally, artistically, we need to understand you know, who is Father Moon, who is true mother. So we need to understand the truth of history this is the secret to realizing Chun Il Gu and bringing great victory. Why? If Jesus' 12 disciples, you know, 72 disciples, 120 disciples, if they clearly understand before Jesus' crucifixion, he is the real Messiah, he is the real Lord, he is a savior. He is the begotten son, God's only begotten son. They overcome even any fear. They can overcome any situation. They can die with Jesus. They can die before Jesus. That's why our understanding is very important. When Jesus' disciples scattered after Jesus' crucifixion, and then Jesus called back them again and educate them. And then no one deny at the time, Jesus is the Messiah through the possession of the Holy Spirit. Then after that, what happened? Everybody repent, everybody experience of the Pentecost possessed by Holy Spirit. And then this is the beginning point. How Christian movement is, you know, develop and go forward. They don't care lion or tiger, any persecution, any kind of the, you know, fear. Anyone possessed by Holy Spirit and then recognize uh, that Jesus is the Messiah through that kind of the conviction Overcome fear, overcome death, overcome persecution. That's why experience is important. Experience of the Holy Spirit, not just only intellectual understanding. If you are just only understanding intellectually, any time can be three. Any time, you know, you can go your own way. That's why experience of the Holy Spirit and also understanding the heart is a very, very important point about that. Huh? That's why when we understand clearly the portion of true mother, you know, this is the, this is the secret to realizing Chun Il Gu and bringing our victory. 
Because before Jesus died, everybody know, clearly understanding, Jesus is really Messiah. Oh, what happened? Oh, all kind of the miracles. They already have a conviction and confidence to testify who is the Messiah. Even John the Baptist, what is his real situation after he confessed Jesus is the Messiah and came back home? And then he can see, can see the reality. Oh my God. Recognizing this historical truth is, the, is a, sh- a shortcut to unifying our families. Really, mother came as the God's only begotten daughter after 6,000 years. She the one who main main person to lead the entire world. If we really know her position, she never come again. Wow. This is the historical truth and secret. And then we can unify our families, nation, and history, the earthly world, and the spiritual world as one and establishing heavenly families, heavenly tribes, heavenly nation, and a heavenly world. Is, it, is, is this not so? Therefore, as part of my message entitled, Hakja Han Moon, what is her identity? I will introduce 10 aspects of her identity from now on. So Heavenly Honey, please read. Okay, so uh, who is Hakja Hanmun? Hakja Hanmun, the first point I'd like to talk about here. First, Hakja Hanmun is the only begotten daughter that heaven has sent after 6,000 years. Okay, Heavenly Honey, very, very important fathers what is here. Everybody, please, you need to understand this point. What, how true father described the, about the true mother's position? If Jesus, whom God had sent to the earth as the only begotten son, had not died, God would have sent the only begotten daughter. The 2,000-year history of God was the history of searching for the bride. Oh, my God. So, you know, biblically, we are talking about God's providence. It took 6,000 years. So, from you know, since Adam and Eve fall, you know, took 4,000 years until Jesus come as the Lord, as the Savior. That's why God's 4,000 years period to prepare to send, you know, God's only begotten son. Right? At the time, actually, even God, God also prepared the God's only begotten daughter as well. However, Jesus could not marry. Could not marry. Can you imagine that already God laid a foundation through the last 4,000 years before Jesus came for, for the Messiah? Shortly before true parents' holy wedding ceremony, true father proclaimed the following in, in, uh, in reference to the only begotten daughter in October of 1959. Can you imagine here? This was actually before the holy wedding ceremony, October 11, 1959. The Father's volume 7, page 303. Please, you need to check about it. Really, Father said like that? Sure, 100% sure. If Jesus, who, whom God had sent to the earth as the only begotten son, had not died, God would have sent the only begotten daughter. 
The 2000 years history of God was a history of searching for the bride. Only the God laid the foundation for the Messiah. Then Father said, last 2000 years history after Jesus died, that was the time period for searching for the bride. What is the purpose of the Christian history last 2000 years? Only one reason. Searching for the bride. God already laid the foundation for the Messiah 2,000 years ago already. That's why no need to prepare anymore for the second coming already. It's all right. Problem is how to find, the, how to lay the foundation for the bride. Can you imagine about that? Because you know, could not fulfill 2,000 years ago. Wow, that's why Christian history, history of searching for the bride. True Father's words here are very, very clear. He said, God's 2,000 years history was a history of the searching for the only begotten daughter who would stand as the bride. True mother is not the second coming. True mother is the first advent. God already laid a foundation for only begotten son 2,000 years ago. However, there was, there was no foundation for the only begotten daughter. That's why you need to know that. True father, what's the, what the difference between true father and true mother? True father is the second coming. True mother is the first coming. The first advent. This is the difference. We need to understand that point. So he took six thousand years in order to send God's only begotten daughter. It took six thousand years. How much precious true mother is. You know God's creation? How God's creation completed? What is God's final creation? He, create, he created environment first, and finally he created Adam. And then, real final one is what? Eve. When the Heavenly Father created Eve, and then his creation is completed. Same way, restoration also same. How complete God's providence through the God's only begotten daughter. That's why mother as the first coming need to complete entire God's providence. Entire. You know? Heavenly Father completed his creation through the creating Eve. God's restoration course finally need to complete, complete through the woman. God's begot, only begotten daughter who is our true mother. Can you imagine how much wonderful it is? I am really thankful to Heavenly Parents. Do you know why? If true father find you know, bride, his bride, almost like the same age. Then now, to the mother age, if it's still alive, then more than 100 years. Can you imagine that? God, 
God is really, I'm, I'm sorry to say God is so clever. Age difference, more than 20 years. Can you imagine that? If mother already more than 100 years, and then how much she can do? Wow, God has a wisdom. God has a plan through mother. Amazing. Through mother is the first person who was completed as a woman. Through mother appear as a perfect woman. As the, as the begotten, God's only begotten daughter. Wow, this <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Isn't it? Right? Okay, could you read? This is also very important content. The re returning Lord comes to find the mother of humanity. In other words, he comes to find his bride. The Lord, who is the bridegroom, is not looking for a bride within the fallen realm. He is looking for the woman who was born of the unfallen, pure lineage. Then, upon what kind of foundation would such a bride, such a mother, need to be born? There needs to be a mother who, as a virgin with no connection to sin, can stand in the position of the true mother. Amazing, amazing. Furthermore, in October of 1970, the father said to the following, the returning the Lord comes to find the mother of humanity. In other words, he comes to find his bride. The Lord, who is the bridegroom, is not looking for a bride within the fallen realm. Means what? To the mother need to be sent by God directly. Cannot find, you know, the God's bride from the fallen world. He's looking for the woman who was born of the unfallen, pure lineage. You need to know that. Father said, mother need to come from what? On full of unfallen environment at the same time, she needs to come from pure lineage background. Then, upon what kind of the foundation would such a bride, such a mother need to be born? Father said very clearly here. There needs to be a mother who had, who as a virgin. With no connection to sin, can stand in the position of the true mother. Nothing deal with sin, nothing deal with the fallen world, nothing dealing with the you know secular world. That's why God's providence. When you look at the true mother's background, you know she's the only daughter. Three centuries and three generations. Can you imagine? Centuries and three generations. How purified her blood lineage as a virgin with no connection to sin. You know? And then can stand in the position of the true mother. Wow. This is nothing short of a on incredible statement by our true father. True father says here that the main purpose of the Lord's return is to find the mother of humankind. You know, without mother, how to accomplish God's will. Without father, how to accomplish God's will. Man and woman, same equality. Same equality. As a man, as a woman, 
same equality, same authority, same dignity, same position. Do you only believe in Father is the Messiah, Mother is just a sh shadow and just a wife of the Messiah? What are you talking about? You do not understand the principal dual characteristics. God create male and female as a, as the as the as the you know begotten only begotten son and the, as, as the only begotten daughter. Where there is a begotten son should be there is a begotten daughter as well. Am I right? So when mother proclaims the begotten daughter, what's wrong with that? Why is she the blessed couple cannot accept about that? We learn from the principle of creation to your characteristics. That's why even our senior blessed couple, even some of our members, you know, even own family do not understand what is a divine principle. We need to understand the divine principle very clearly. Hmm? True Father says here that you know, his main purpose of the Lord in return is to find the mother of humankind. Without true mother, how can become true parents? How can go forward God's providence? Man alone cannot do anything. Woman alone cannot do anything. Adam and Eve, you know, fall as the as the as the couple. That's why we need to restore as the couple position as the only begotten son, as the only begotten daughter. And that the only begotten daughter who comes as the mother of humankind must be born of the unfallen pure blood lineage. He also says that this individual must become a mother who, as a virgin with no connection to sin, can stand in the position of true mother. Where else can we find this clear statement about the only begotten daughter and true mother? Father clearly talking about. Father's statement is really, really clear. Hmm? And then when father cha mother change this style, that style, you know, rearrange it, how come mother change? Do you think mother cannot change? Father can change, mother also can change. Mother can renew, renew. Why? Same equal position. That's why whatever mother is doing, we need to we need to think, we need to understand. You know, mother always respect father. Absolutely follow father. Or did show her attendance after father passed away for 30 years? How much true mother, serve father, love him, prepare food every day for 1,000 days? Can you imagine which woman can be like that? Prepare food every day for 1,000 days. We cannot simply think horizontally our mother's position. Could you read? For the first time in 6,000 years, I was born as the only begotten daughter. Though I had parents who gave birth to me, I was raised knowing God as my father. God is my father. Throughout all of humankind, Jesus, who came 2,000 years ago, and I are the ones who were born knowing God as our father. Wow. True mother also revealed the truth of history in her 
proclamation before heaven and earth in March of 2017. For the first time in 6,000 years, she said, I was born as the only begotten daughter. She proclaimed by herself. Not need to be, no need to be, no need to be declared by someone. Jesus came 2,000 years ago. He said, I am the truth. <laughs> I am the truth. And then what? I am the only way. I am only the life. Without me, you cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. I am the Messiah. So, he came as the Messiah, so he needs to declare, I am the Messiah. Martha came to the earth and need to proclaim, I was born as the only begotten daughter. No one can do that. If you say that I am, I am only the begotten, God's only begotten daughter, God can recognize, Satan can recognize, true mother, really, he clearly explained her, her identity. My dear brothers and sisters, my unificationist and all the secular world, all mankind need to know very clearly, I came as the only begotten daughter. I am the one who need to complete God's providence. Very clear. She, even though she came as the only begotten daughter, she do not proclaim that something wrong. Of course, it took time for true father to proclaim he's the Messiah because of the, a different environment. But far true father already laid the foundation, true mother already laid the foundation with the father already last 60, 70 years. And then based on that foundation, mother can proclaim anything. Though I had parents who gave a person to me, mother said, I was raised knowing God as my father. God is my father. Throughout all of humankind, Jesus who came 2000 years ago, and I are the ones who were born knowing God as our father. Amazing. This is a really, really remarkable, liberationary truth of history. Heaven and earth have worked to bring about this incredible event. Okay, can you read? I am different from you. I was different from birth. Before Adam and Eve fell, they could communicate with God. If they had questions, they received answers. I was born as God's daughter with no original sin. That is why, even without anyone teaching me, I know the path I must take. Wow, amazing. If we see tonight, if she if she is not the begotten daughter, God's only begotten daughter, she cannot say it like that. In October of the 2017, she also stated the following: I am different from you. You came from foreign background, I am not. I was different from the birds. Before Adam and Eve fell, they could communicate with God. If they had a question, they received answers. I was born as a God's daughter with no original sin. That's why, even without anyone teaching me, I know the path I must take. My beloved brothers and sisters, we knew that the true mother of whom our heavenly parents has, you know, eagerly awaited for, for over the course of 6,000 years, is none other than that, are uh, not other than then, the only begotten daughter. Furthermore, she has lived her life in attendance to heavenly parents and is uh, creating a great heavenly history now. Therefore, we cannot but be the most blessed people among all the people that 
have come before us throughout God's 6,000 years history. And among all the people that will come after us for eternity. Do you agree with me? Do you agree with me? We need to accept and understand with all of our gratitude to our heavenly parents, our Jesus, our true Father. You know? Who worked tirelessly throughout history in search of the only begotten daughter. Aju? Secondly, who is Hakja Hanmun? Second, she has come as the savior of humankind, the returning the law, the Messiah, the true parent. Could you read this one? In August of 1992, at the joint celebratory banquet of the first World Culture and Sports Festival, True Father stated, I have proclaimed that my wife, Hak Chahan, and I are the true parents of humankind, the saviors, the returning Lord, and the messiahs. Wow. You know, this is official statement. In August of 1992, at the joint celebratory banquet of the First World Culture and Sports Festival, True Father stated, I have proclaimed that my wife, Hak Jahan Moon, and I are the true parents of humankind, the saviors, returning the Lord, and the messiahs. Not only Father is the messiah. I'm struggling with some of the senior blessed couples saying that only father is the Messiah, not mother, but father here, you know, officially, you know, very clearly proclaim. Hakja Han Moon and me, both of them, both of us, we are the savior, we are the returning the Lord, we are the Messiahs, Messiahs. Huh? True mother, not just only shadow of true father. Both of us, we are not just only true parents, we are the messiahs. Very clear. Okay, another content. To become a true olive tree, there needs to be an owner. That owner is true parents. This means that you cannot go to heaven without passing through true parents. Yes, it is through true parents that you received the blessing. You were able to receive the blessing because you met me, the only begotten daughter. Have you lived until now without feeling this deep in your bones? Thank you. In 2017, Tura Mother spoke at a, uh, uh, at a leaders assembly in Central and South America. She mentioned very clearly, to become a true olive tree, there needs to be as an owner, that owner is a true parent. This means that you cannot go to heaven without passing through true parents. I am, I am, you know, father, mother, I am only begotten daughter. I am the savior. I am true parents. Yes, it is through the true parents that you receive the blessing. Even though not true mother is alone, always beside the mother, there is a true father. You know, always. You are able to receive the blessing because you made me the only begotten daughter. Have you lived until now without feeling this deep in your bones? How much do you understand my identity? Do you know who I am? 
Can you imagine that? God prepared for true mother as God's only begotten daughter. It took 6,000 years. And we met true mother. Can you imagine? God prepared for 6,000 years. And we believe in her, unite with her. Then we can do anything. It is, you know, nothing impossible. What is our job? What is our portion of responsibility? Even Jesus mentioned 2,000 years ago, you need to believe in me. I already show you. What is our portion of responsibility? What is our mission? What is the, our first mission? Just work hard and hard and hard and hard? No. We need to unite with the mother. This is the only way we can complete our mission. God's providence. This is the key. That's why mother always say, you unite with me. You unite with me. This is the only way you can unite with God. This is the only way you can complete your mission. This is the only way you can build the kingdom of heaven on the earth. You know, our power, our Jesus disciple power come from where? When they unite with Jesus. Father is gone. The father now, his focal point is to the mother. So as our member, as the blessed family, unite with the mother, that is our job. Then mother tell us where to go, what to do, what is our direction. My beloved brothers and sisters, let us appreciate to the savior of the humankind, returning the Lord, Messiah, and true parents, our true mother. Aju! Aju! Thank you. Aju! Thank you, Dr. Young. That was, I think this is really needed, especially with uh, true, uh, true mother coming in June. This is really a good way for, uh, for us to proclaim that true mother is the only begotten daughter. And not just that, she's the first begotten daughter on this earth. And so please let us support your mother and really um, pray for her protection as well. Thank you so much, Dr. Young. And now it's time to go into our breakout rooms and share our gratitude. So please enjoy your breakout rooms.
Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for sharing in your breakout rooms. Um, yeah, so <laughs> for our first reflection, um, actually, I wanted just to share like a short point of um, like what we shared in our breakout room. Um, just like the presence of, of, uh, of True Mother, this is like one takeaway that I was able to understand from, you know, Dr. Young's um, speaking. Um, I remember um, in 2020, I received the blessing and uh, my husband and I were one of the representative couples. So we had to go in front of True Mother and get our rings. So at that moment, you know, what I shared was like, I could feel God's presence so much. It was incredible. Like, I don't ever think that I will be able to get that feeling away for the rest of my life. And, you know, it's just like true mother. It's not about just her words, but mm -hmm. it's even mm -hmm. like her presence is just, mm -hmm. wow. It's like, every time I think about it, I can refeel what I felt, you know, yeah. at that moment when I was in yeah. front of her. And yeah. It's just, um, she embodies God's, you know, love and God's presence and, this is why, like, at that moment, I felt like there's no way True Mother is not the only begotten daughter. Like, mm -hmm. this is it. She is who she says she is because it's not just about her words, but it's about her presence. It's mm -hmm. about how, you know, she really embodies God um, into, you know, her, her heart. And anyways, I just wanted to share that because <laughs> that feeling, it, 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 um, it never goes away. And yeah. That yeah. really impacts you. So please let us support True Mother and really, yeah, and really pray for her and be there for her because mm. it's not easy. So mm. anyways, that was um, <laughs> my takeaway for today. Um, and for the next person, I wanted to invite Etsuko Kaneko-san to share. Uh, yes. Hi. Uh, huh? Yes. Um, yes, I'm, I am, I am, um, yeah. Kaneko, not Kajisa. Yeah, sorry. Hi, Kajisa. Uh, hi, yes, Kajisa. Kaneko, Kaneko. Oh, yes. there's two. Kaneko, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yes, Kajisa. Hi, thank you. Uh, I'm a wizard. Kaneko-san? Ah. Uh, yeah, there's two. Okay. Kaneko, Kaneko. Okay, I'm sorry. Bye. I'm <laughs> Can I go ahead? Please unmute yourself, you're muted. Yeah, thank you. It's similar name, so mm. it's not the, yeah. <laughs> it's really, yeah. It, anyway, you know, the, I testified a few times, but I was chance to talk with Levi Mirohan. Um, how, how hard two parents test two mother testified on self begotten daughter because if it's we have a more strong foundation, John the Baptist can testify to mother is begotten daughter. But we we couldn't make that foundation and she doesn't have any foundation. That's why she has to testify herself. <laughs> That was, that, that was really, one day, you know, two mother received that, that message through, through a message from two father and started crying and crying. That was really, that moment myself, how, how hard, how hard herself to testify by herself, even two father, Two mother stand and make that the uh, women's federation. And then after that, she he has a, another foundation and testify that I'm Messiah through the true mother. That was really amazing for me to see. But for true mother, who can testify? Only Dr. Yon talking about it like that. I, I'm so sorry to true mother to that kind of, mm -hmm. that kind of happened. 
But now, you know, I have a still life here and even small step, you know, I wanted to become a Chumaza's representative to give that uh, to love to many people as much as possible, even small step. Mm. And also, you know, to testify to mother, it's not easy to stand alone herself. It doesn't matter, you know, men or men, but, you know, to, if it's no foundation, it's so difficult. But now, you know, all the members working at the uh, for HSC and you know, all the Christian minister make her foundation, the, mm. they, they, they have foundation for the true mother. This mm. is a historical and also, you know, this is a idea of should be more faster than the, make that kind of foundation that I couldn't do. Mm. That's my repentance and also take away. Thank mm. you, Dr. Thank you. Thank you, Kaneko-san. Thank Thank you, Kanekusan, for sharing that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. Um, that was beautiful. And yeah, thank you for Dr. Young for really showing us uh, this and really helping us to understand your mother even more. Thank you. Um, yeah, for so for our daily reminders. Um, yeah, the first one is just to invite someone from your Trinity uh, to experience this kind of, um, you know, artistic uh, relationship and to really connect with the content and coming every day on Zoom uh, is also one way to connect because on Facebook, it's great to watch it live, but it's a different experience when you're actually in the breakout room sharing with people. Um, and so Dr. Young is always here with us. I believe he's actually in Vegas right now, but he's always attending and always trying his best to be here. So let us also support him every day um, attending. And for our musical offering today, I believe, oh, also, I'm sorry about that. I forgot about the donation. So please, if you can give anything that you would like to give uh, for our morning devotion, we would really appreciate it. So thank you very much in advance for that. And for our musical offering today, I believe we have Rika and Cotone. No? Daryl Franklin. Oh, Daryl Franklin. Sorry. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Please unmute yourself and share with us. Daryl Franklin. Am I okay? Can everyone hear me now? Oh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, thank you so much. This was a really a blessing to hear this. Thank you so much, Dr. Young. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I'm so, I'm reminded of um, when uh, Jesus was asked by the chief priests, are you the son of God? And Jesus said, I am. And that was a whole point of them taking their point of view. Yeah. And that's the, that's the whole crime mm. that humanity has committed against God. Mm. Taking God's messengers mm. from their own point of view. Mm -hmm. And so that's the takeaway I have from that. And uh, I want to thank you so much because that's excellent preparation for all of us so that we can embrace giving a real true testimony from our heart about mm. who our true mother is. Mm. And, and I'd like to uh, offer this song, Garden of Restoration, and hope uh, you all can enjoy it. Great. Oh, 
Daddy Franklin, I can feel like a very much a heartistic. Your song is very, very heartistic. Your voice is very heartistic. I can really feel, you know, your such a really deep heart from your singing. Kamsahamida, Daddy Franklin. Thank you so much, Uncle Daryl, for sharing that beautiful song and for really sharing your heart. Uh, like Dr. Young said, it's not just about the song, but you really can feel the heart behind that. So thank you for sharing. And for our closing prayer today, I wanted to invite Chris and David Portland. One of you, if you can close us off with a prayer. Okay, please join me in prayer. All right, Heavenly Father, thank you very much for this day. Heavenly Father, thank you so much, Heavenly Father, for guiding us every single day. Heavenly Father, through these, uh, through Dr. Young. Um, Heavenly Father, please bless that we can really take this message of true mother um, as the only begotten daughter. Heavenly Father, and really embroider it in, into our into our bones, Heavenly Father, and so thank you so much as we go throughout these days that we can really inherit her heart um, and get, inherit God's love and that we can really share it with everyone. So thank you so much for being with us and please us that as we go, go throughout these days that we can really 
reach for that total salvation and touch as many hearts as we can. So thank you so much for being with us and be with us throughout these days. And I pray this prayer in the name of the difficult portals, son of our new portals, bless the family at you. Oh, thank you so much. Your name is Chris? Uh, I'm Chris. Is, that's Chris. Yeah. You are David? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thank you, David and Chris. Where do you live now? Uh, Sudbury, Ontario, Canada. All right. Thank you so much for your prayer. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Chris and David, for sharing. Uh, yeah, for the prayer. And yeah, it is time to close our morning devotion for today. We'll see you tomorrow for another morning devotion. And we hope you have a great day. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you. I love you. We love you too.